Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, hi, I'm Luz. And I'm Oji. So recently, Oji came up to me with coins and bills, and he was so confused on the denomination, especially the coins. I'm not that familiar with Canadian currency because normally we use cards here. I don't carry that much cash with me. Since I handle cash, like literally every day at work, I will help Oji be familiar with the Canadian currency and might as well share it with you guys. We also included some fun facts about Canadian money in this video. So before we start, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. So let's start with the easy ones, the bills. Okay. Canadian banknotes has different colors so that you can distinguish them from other bills. All of them has the same size. Unlike in other countries like in Japan and in Mexico where they have different sizes per denomination. It is made of polymer which is a type of plastic so it makes Canadian banknotes durable and lasts longer. Pay attention baby, we'll have a quiz later. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm serious, we have a quiz later. Fun fact, the government started releasing polymer plastic bills in 2011. Before 2011, Canadian banknotes are made of cotton-based paper. Ooh, mm -hmm. 2011. <laughs> yeah, so we have here the transparent part on this side and we have the translucent part here. So on the transparent part, there is a hologram of whoever is the famous person printed on the bill. So let's start with the $5 bill. It is color blue and the famous person here is Sir Wilfred Laurier. He served as the seventh prime minister of Canada from 1896 to 1911. Seven, 1896 to 1911. Yeah. On the other side of the $5 bill, we can see an astronaut. Mm -hmm. okay. This represents Canada's contribution to the space program. Wilfred okay. Laurier, seventh prime minister. I forgot the year. <laughs> astronaut. Okay, astronaut. <laughs> The next bill that we have is the $10 bill. It's color violet or purple. Depends on you. <laughs> BTS! The famous person printed on this bill is Sir John A. MacDonald. John A. MacDonald. Yeah. He is the very first Prime Minister of Canada and he is known as the Father of Confederation. Confederation is when all provinces were independent mm -hmm. but they joined together to form one country. Okay, at the back of the bill, we have here a photo of a train. This represents when British Columbia joined the Confederation. Fun fact, BC became part of the Confederation in 1871. Too many information already. <laughs> We're just on the $10 minute. <laughs> in 2018, Canada released a new $10 bill and it has the photo of Viola Desmond. She was a Canadian woman and civil rights activist. The next bill that we have is the $20 bill. It's color green. And the famous person here is the late Queen Elizabeth II. She was the Queen of England, but she was also Canada's head of state. Okay. And then at the back, we have two buildings. We mm -hmm. have here the Vimy Ridge Memorial. This is very significant to World War I. Okay. Okay, and you can see here red flowers. We call them poppy. That's what I see during Remembrance Day. Exactly. So uh, poppy is a type of flower. It's a red flower that you put on top of your heart during November. You pin it on Yeah, your you shirt. pin it on your shirt. That commemorates and remembers those people who died fighting in wars. So the next one that we have is the $50 bill. It's color red. 50 pesos. <laughs> Just like 50 pesos in the Philippines. It has a portrait of William Lyon Mackenzie King. Why well, your name is so long? <laughs> he was a Canadian statesman and politician who served as the 10th Prime Minister of Canada. He was the longest serving Prime Minister of Canada. It was three terms, but the total was 21 years and 154 days. Very long. Very exact, very <laughs> precise. <laughs> At the back, we have a photo of a ship. So this represents Canada's contribution to Arctic research. Arctic research. Yes. 
Fun fact, um, Sir William Lyon Mackenzie King was the one who introduced EI or employment insurance here in Canada. Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you. So next is uh, the $100 bill. This is our biggest denomination in Canadian bills. We have here Sir Robert Borden. He was a Canadian lawyer and politician. He served as the 8th Prime Minister of Canada. He is best known for his leadership in Canada during World War I. At the back, we have here several images connected to Canada's innovation and medical discoveries. Fun fact, we have here a photo of insulin because the one who discovered insulin, Dr. Frederick Banting, he, he was a Can Canadian orthopedic surgeon. Okay. okay. We have this photo of like um, up and down lines and what this represents a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. What is a pacemaker? It's a small device that you put on your chest mm -hmm. implanted on the chest to control the heartbeat perfect. of a person. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Very good. This was invented by um, Dr. John Hobbs. He's a researcher and developer. So those are our bills. Now we're gonna move on to the coins. This is where you were confused yeah. before. All of the coins that we have on the head side, it has a photo of the late Queen Elizabeth II. Now that she passed away, we don't know if they will change the portrait on the heads of all the coins. Maybe mm. eventually, at the moment of this filming, it still has the photo of Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. So let's start with the five cents, or what we call the nickel. Nickel. It's silver in color, and we have here a photo of a beaver. A beaver is an animal that is a symbol of Canada. Next is um, the 10 cents or what we call a dime. dime. Yep, dime. Yeah. This is the smallest coin that we have. It's even smaller compared to the nickel. That's why I'm confused because what I think is if the nomination goes down, the size of the coin gets smaller. But mm. then it's like, I yeah, don't know, whatever. Yeah. Um, again, the dime is the smallest coin that we have. If it's okay. the smallest, it's the dime, the okay. 10 cents, okay? It has a photo of a sealing ship, which we call Blue Nose. The next that we have here is 25 cents or what we call quarter. Okay, most of the time, it has a photo of a caribou. But Canada released a lot of commemorative quarters to show respect to important people or events in Canada. The next coin that we have is the $1. It is golden color. If it's brand new, it looks like this, very shiny. shiny. But over time, it will look like this. It's like a brown color. This was released in 1987. On the tail side, we have a photo of a bird. This is called a loon. A loon. Loon. That is okay, why we call why this loony. Loony. Yep. So one dollar is loony. Did you know that there was a bird called a loon? I didn't know. No. I thought yeah. the bird is called loony. <laughs> No, loon. That's why loony. And we have here the last coin, the biggest denomination, which is two dollars. It's two toned. We have um, silver on the outer and then gold in the on the inner part. It looks like ten pesos. Yeah, ten pesos from the Philippines. One dollar is called loony. loony. Two dollars is called tunies. If you come here in Canada and you you heard someone like saying loony or tunies, it just means one dollar coin or two dollar coins so that's everything for canadian currency did you learn something yes you now know how I to distinguish something. the coins as of now as of now <laughs> okay so ready for the quiz <laughs> <laughs> so let's put oji and you guys to the test let's see if you will answer all these questions for five dollars what is the color of the ten dollar bills Five. Blue. Four. No. Oh, violet. Three. Oh, okay, okay. For five dollars. <laughs> okay. For ten dollars, what type of bird is in the one dollar coin? <laughs> bird, you see, it's a loon. <laughs> loon. <laughs> ten dollars. Here you go. <laughs> Basic. For twenty dollars, what is the smallest coin that we have? Five. The nickel. Four. <laughs> the Three. Dime. Yeah, the dime. See? <laughs> Confused. And I'm yeah. confused with the coins. <laughs> the dime, okay, the dime. dime, dime, dime. Dime is the smallest. For a $50 bill, what type of plastic are the Canadian bills made of? Five. 
for polymer. Ta polymer, perfect. <laughs> Lastly, for one hundred dollar bill, who is the famous person here on the one hundred dollar bill? Five, four, Sir Borden. Three, first name. Three. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. One more time. Five. Robert Borden. Forever. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> You're rich now. <laughs> And thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you learned something about Canadian bills and coins. So if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Till next time, bye!